Good morning, folks. Quick hits only today because around lunchtime, we're going to get part nine of Earth Catastrophe series, The Pole Shift. Let's get through the top news, starting at spaceweathernews.com and finding the last day on our star was totally quiet. No sunspots or solar flares, just those coronal holes still on the south. The solar wind is calm but slightly variable, and in blue up top you can see we still are not riding sun to earth field direction, and the earthquakes are waiting for it three days now. We don't have that long to wait for the solar wind from these coronal holes due at earth over the next day and a half. Let's go to Titan. Amazing infrared views in the six frame shot released by the ESA, so I went back to their video on Titan with now an electric discharge state of mind and found a considerable number of features that likely bear greater study, including a number of double craters, central canyons, material separation, all things we see in Billy's lab. This video can be found below along with all the links every day. Moving on to confirmation that the M8.2 earthquake in Mexico 2017 did in fact break the slab of the Cocos Plate, probably bigger than 8.2 then in all reality. We've got a cool paper out on elemental abundances in the solar wind, including some notes on elements up to Z82, which is lead. This paper, though, is about how the hydrogen content changes in the ambient solar wind versus the intensified shock waves. An interesting bit here on the binary system with circumpolar orbiting dust disks, where the planets are either forming or already formed and have an interesting look to their galactic neighborhood. Imagine being an ET living there. Kind of looks like Elysium. Last but not least, that's Harvard, Yale, Toronto, University of California, and more confirming there is no dark matter in that faint galaxy that made the news months ago. Their concern is that there may be a greater trend in those faint galaxies and how to rework their models with this new information. So folks, we've got an earthquake watch as soon as the phi angle drops. Around lunchtime here, we'll have part nine of our latest series. We're going to miss a prominent and longtime observer, Skip. You shared your home with us on tour, came to the conference. Goodbye, my friend. We've got your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.